Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anna. If you're new here, I do makeup reviews, makeup tutorials, skincare, anything beauty related, I got you covered. Today's video, I'm really excited because it's something a little bit different than what I typically review. Um, if you're new to my channel, I review makeup, whether it's high-end, drugstore, anything in the middle. As long as it catches my eye, I'll typically buy it and um, review it. Again, if you have, ever have any requests, leave them down below. Anyways, today's video, I'm going to actually be talking about lipstick, which, shocker, because I am really not a lip person, but I'm that person that when I do find something that I like, I will usually buy a lot of it. So by no means is this video sponsored at all. I bought everything with my own money, and I'm going to name this video like a part one because I bought, oop, sorry. I bought all the, the, what is it, hot fluff? I believe these are called hot fluff. I, I bought all of the Jason Wu lipstick colors before the 4th of July, and they were having um, a sale, so I bought it. Everything was like 50% off, I think. So I bought all seven colors. It came out to roughly about 50 or $60. And then I noticed that they had launched a whole new set of, colors so I bought those so I'll review those once those come in the reason I'm excited about this and I know it's nothing new is because like I said if you know me I hate lipstick or I hate to I hate not that I hate lipstick I like lipstick a lot I just don't like when I put something on my lips and I can feel it taste it like if it's lightweight and I forget that it's there I'm sold now one of the marketing points on these guys are that you can use them on the lips the cheeks and the eyes that is another thing that whenever i review lipstick i typically end up putting it on my cheeks anyways um the fact that these could be used on the eyes is a huge huge bonus so i'm going to swatch these i'm going to try them on i'm going to give you my thoughts and yeah that's how the video is going to go all right, so for starters, do, these do retail for $12 each. So drugstore-wise, that's right about where most lipsticks cost. Um, you know, if you were going to get something high-end or, you know, outside of like CVS or something, it would definitely cost you between like $18 to $30. And depending, like if you're looking Tom Ford prices, you're looking at $50 to $60 for lipstick, which I will never spend that much money. I just think it's absurd. Um, on lips, on lipstick, because I'm not a lip person. I'm not... Please don't take offense. Um, I will spend money on a highlighter and blush for sure. It's just not something that I typically use. So I tried these on. I'm just going to basically give you my overall thoughts. I tried these on. I freaking love the formula. I love the color. These are absolutely beautiful. Now, I don't know that all colors are going to work for me like on the lips, but I think on the eyes, on the cheeks, I will definitely make. So let's actually cut into swatches i named the ones i swatch you can see the colors up close and then i guess we're just gonna try it on all right so we got the jason Wu hot fluff lipsticks this is how they come in a package i mean it's packaged nice but i'm saying they kind of put them in like this cute little bag i forgot what these bags are called i got every shade well now they launch new shades but i got every shade they were 50 percent off so, you know, came out, came out price well. Um, so, yeah, we're just going to go through them. What I love about these is that you can use them on your eyes, your lips, your cheeks. And if you follow me, you know that I absolutely love to put all these colors, like lipsticks on my cheeks. So we're going to try those out. The packaging is really pretty. You have like this little window here. It says Hot Fluff, Jason Wu. It tells you for lips, eyes, and cheeks. Sorry, my camera's like having a hard time focusing. Um, details are in the back, what it's made with, what it's not made with, and then little pictures of the models wearing these colors on their lips, cheeks, and eyes. Let me open these up and I'll be right back. All right, I have unboxed these. This is what it looks like. Hold on. The packaging is nice. It does have like this velour soft touch feel. And what I like is, let me just gather all of these together. Once I memorize what colors are which, it'll be easier to kind of pick these out. These are the color of lipsticks. So I can appreciate that because when you're looking for a lipstick in a drawer, 
and you can see the color, that's super helpful. All right, so I'm gonna open one and then we're gonna look at it up close and then I'm just gonna start swatching. So back to the packaging. It's nice, it has like this soft feel touch to it. Name is on the bottom. It's kind of like by number, so it's HF04, which is Hot Fluff 4, number four. And this one is Apple Pie. Open it up. So nice. You just kind of twist and the lipstick bullet is embossed. So you see the name. So pretty. That's like perfect. So I'm going to finish opening these up and then we're going to swatch. Hopefully. All right, let's start off with biscotti. You know, even though it's a matte lipstick, that is very creamy. Next up, cannoli. And it's funny because when I was looking at these two colors too um, online, I thought they were very close in shade, but they are not. Gingerbread. So pretty, so creamy, oh my goodness. Eclair, what's next? It's a pretty like nude color. Granted these are kind of nudes, but they are very different on their own. Apple pie. Oh, that's really nice. See, my suspicion was always that apple pie and ginger would, would, were like very similar, but they're they're kind of not, if you could see. They're the closest in shades, though. All right, Danish. It's such an interesting color. I don't know why I'm like so drawn to it, but I just, I really am. <laughs> and then Jelly Roll. So pretty. I can't wait to try these on. Let me know, comment down below, which is your favorite color. All right, so you see the swatches are very like, they're creamy, they're just beautiful, and I cannot wait to put this on my face. I had Danish in my bag the other day and I used it and I was like, I just could not stop looking at my face. I, these blend really beautiful on the cheeks, very easy on the lips. So I have some wipes here because I'm going to swatch and apply um, I would think what I'm going to do is I'm going to swatch it, show you, take it off, and then continue. So this part of the video may go a little bit fast. I may do something where I speak over it. Um, let's, let's do that. All right. Starting up with Jelly Roll. I'm going to take and I'm going to apply. And this is like, honestly, one swipe gives so much color. That's Jelly Roll, which is a deeper, um, like, plum shade. Absolutely beautiful. Next up is Gingerbread. Now, I'm using them in the order because they all have, like, names on the bottom, and they have, like, one, two, one to seven. This is Gingerbread. So much pigmentation. And I will use some of them like on my cheeks. It's just that if I do all of it at once, we're gonna be here for a hot minute. Cannoli is next. Cannoli is like an orangey, like a nude orange or like a rusty orange. These absolutely feel like nothing on the lips. Actually a really pretty color. This one is not my favorite as far as lips. I feel like I need a little bit more depth, but let's take it to the cheek. This is the color I'm curious to see, so I'm just gonna pop it on the cheek and see. This is very like fall, which I think is really nice. See, as a cheek color, it's absolutely beautiful. So now, because I have it on my cheek, it kind of ties in with my lip. Really nice. Um, next up is apple pie. This is kind of like, this is another bright color. It's close to gingerbread, but it's it's different. And I mentioned in the swatches that I thought they were gonna be very similar. 
so pretty. I feel like this could be a nice like daytime um, lip color, Eclair. Really nice. I'm I'm like amazed at how soft all of these are and like you really can't feel them on the lips and they don't have like a weird taste either that drives me crazy about lipsticks all right this is a color that I'm not sure how it's gonna look on my lips but I got it because I thought it would be a really pretty blush color so I think I'll try it on this side this one is called biscotti this is like a beige color It does nothing for my lips, and I'm fully aware of that. Trust me. Um, let's try it on the cheek. I knew that there was going to be a couple of, like, duds here, so I'm totally fine with that. And the cheek is not bad. It's like a, it's like a beigey color. Very, very fall vibes. So yeah, it's not, it's not bad. I don't love it on my lips, though. And now, for the color that seriously surprised me, like, I knew I was going to love Jelly Roll, and Danish was just a color that just, it, I don't know, something about it kept attracting me or, or pulling my attention. This color is gorgeous. I'm going to demo it on my cheeks on top of these two colors. I'm going to pop it in my eyes. Do not sleep on this color. It's beautiful. Now, I want a little bit heavy on that. It feels like nothing on the lips. Crazy. All right, I'm going to take it here and here. That is literally like all you need for the cheeks. And I'm going to blend it. It just gives this like, even though it's like a purpley shade, it has like this really beautiful warmth to it. And it's just so pretty. I'm obsessed with this one like I know I'm gonna use the other ones too look at that see how it just gives like this really nice warmth and I'm gonna take some to my eyes I love products like this because I can just throw them in my bag and do literally a whole face I'm gonna take my finger and I'm just gonna blend it out like how easy is that how like insane and it doesn't feel um I don't feel like it's gonna crease on my lids it's it's like a very powdery like it's a true velvety like feeling lipstick and it's it's amazing like, look at that boom a whole face done like if you have your foundation you throw this in your bag you're good to go throw a little mascara you're done um I'm like obsessed with this like I said this is part one when I get the other ones you guys will definitely be seeing those swatches i'm excited because there's a lot of pinks and brighter colors and it's just this makes me want to put lipstick on it makes me want to like be creative think outside the box love this you do not need every single shade like i grabbed i am just a blush freak um and like i said because i can use this on my lips my cheeks my eyes like i will definitely be using these and putting them into rotations so um if you have any questions or comments please feel free to leave them down below i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you found it helpful and I will see you in my next one. Bye.